everyone and assalamu alaikum this is introduction to psychology part 2 by your knowledge okay so we are studying about the chapter 2 and we are learning about emotions and we have covered lots of lots of lots of topic in the chapter of emotions so if you have missed any of the previous lecture any of the previous topic i've given all the links in the description section you can click on those links and watch those videos you can also visit the playlist section where i have compiled all the previous videos uh, in a single playlist according to chapters uh, for your ease so you can visit the playlist section to watch all the whole chapter or you can also visit the video section of this channel where you will find all the links all the videos of the previous topics the previous lectures which you have missed so these are the different methods, these are the different way, uh, ways which I have uh, told you. You can uh, assess previous lectures through these ways. Okay, so in this video, we will learn about the theories of emotion, and yet we have covered the common sense theory of emotion, James Lang theory of emotion, Cannon Bar theory of emotion. And in the previous video, we learned about the scatters cognitive arousal theory of emotion. So uh, again, all the links are given in the description section. And in this video, we will learn about facial feedback theory. So uh, when we were learning about emotions, uh, we also discussed about the facial expression. And I told you that uh, whenever we learn about the theories of emotion, we also discuss about the facial feedback theory in which we discuss about the facial feedback hypothesis. So facial feedback hypothesis is an also a very important topic. So we will cover uh, the facial feedback hypothesis and facial feedback theory in this video. You will learn a lot about this. And I also told you that if you have any extra point, any extra uh, information that you have in your mind, you can share with us in the comment section. It will also help other viewers uh, to improve their knowledge because as I told you that sharing is caring, so do share if you care. And uh, so let's start. This is going to be the chapter 2, part 13, facial feedback theory. So let's start with, first of all, let's start with the facial feedback hypothesis. So here are some of the very important points about the facial feedback hypothesis. And I have also uploaded a very detailed video on this topic. So if you have missed that or you haven't watched that, I've given the link in the description section. And you can also click on the eye icon that will appear on the top of this video. And you will be uh, able to watch that video. In this video, we'll just have a quick recap of the facial feedback hypothesis, which we have learned about the facial feedback hypothesis. And um uh, or i should say uh what we have learned about this so uh i have included some of the main points in the facial feedback hypothesis and then we will uh, discuss this one by one the first one is skeletal muscle feedback from the facial expressions plays a casual role in regulating emotional experience and behavior and facial movement can influence the experience of emotion this is what facial feedback hypothesis tells us and then emotion is the experience of changes in our facial muscle the way we change the facial structure the way we show our facial expressions it have a it have an impact on our emotion and our subjective experience of emotion comes from an awareness of our facial expressions no, that is we feel angry because we scowl or happy because we smile, not the other way around. So different researches on a facial feedback hypothesis have done and the word hypothesis itself means a small general statement that is formed on the basis of observation and the observation in a research method includes a detailed study, a detailed literature, literature review. So... What actually facial feedback hypothesis is saying that if we smile, then our emotion will automatically get positive and then we will start thinking positive and then we will become happy. And if we get angry, then uh, definitely our emotion will change as a result of our facial 
expressions as a result of the change in our fa facial expression. So emotion is the result or emotion or emotional experience or the type of emotion which we experience is the result of the changes in our facial muscle. So if this is the case, then I would like you people to smile, please, before starting this lecture about the facial feedback theory. So let's start with the facial feedback theory. So what actually facial feedback theory is saying that change in facial expressions are directly related to our emotions and we have a certain degree of control on our emotions. It is just because of the facial expressions, because of the facial feedback theory, what it says that if we have a control on our emotions because the way we make our facial expressions, the way we change our face. So if you want to have a positive emotion, just simply smile and then you will have a positive and happy emotion. So that what facial feedback theory is saying, that you have a certain degree of control on your emotions. So this idea was first given by the Charles Darwin and then it was further extended by the William James. So we can say that this weave dates back at least to the William James in 1884 who argued that emotion is the perception of changes in our bodily states which follow emotional events and Although the researchers interpreted this to mean the perception of visceral and organic components of the bodily changes, but James himself believed that changes in facial muscles also played a role in the experience of emotion. And we have also learned in the previous video that what James wrote in 1884 about the facial feedback theory is said that smooth the brow, brighten the eye, contract the dorsal rather than the ventral aspect of the frame, and speak in a major key, pass the genial compliment, and your heart must be frigid indeed if it does not gradually thaw. So this was actually about the facial feedback theory. But if we talk about the emotional arousal, the type of uh, fear type of emotion, because uh, we are learning about the theories of emotion and we are continuously discussing the snarling dog that if we face the snarling dog, um, what does the common sense theory of emotion say? What does the James Lang theory of emotion say? What does the canon bard and what does the other people say about the arousal of the theory? Same as the case of the facial feedback theory. What does the facial feedback theory tell us about the snarling dog? For example, if we face a snarling dog, which is a stimulus, so the first response you can see right here on the screen that is autonomic nervous system arousal in face because the facial feedback theory focuses on the facial expressions. So first response will be the autonomic nervous system arousal in face which causes the facial expressions and the facial expression is uh, caused because of the autonomic nervous system arousal in face. And this leads to the second response, which will be cognitive interpretation of the face motions, which leads to fear. So you can see right here, the facial feedback theory focuses on the facial expression. So yet we have learn about the common sense theory of emotion, James Lang theory of emotion, Cannon Bar theory of emotion, and Scatter's cognitive arousal theory of emotion. And in this video we have successfully covered the facial feedback theory. And in the coming uh, video or in the next video you will get the lecture on Lazarus cognitive mediational theory. So if there is any additional point about the facial feedback theory or any interesting information that you have, or you might have experienced the same thing, that your facial expression have changed your thought, just simply smile right now for a while, have a smile on your face, and then tell me in the comment section, how does it change your emotion or what impact that it had on your emotion? So this was 
end of the video if your concept is clear you can like the video if there was any point which was a bit confusing you didn't understood you can ask me in the comment section and i will be happy to help you out and you can also subscribe to this channel subscribe to dear knowledge and click on the bell icon so you will never ever miss any notification you can also share the link of this video the link of our channel with your family members and friends because sharing is caring until then Allah Hafiz.